Cyberpunk 2077 has gone through a massive transformation since its launch. From its profoundly negative launch in 2020 to its current state, developer CD Projekt Red has been on a mission to make this game shine. Today we're going to explore the most recent update and expansion, so let's get straight to it. Let's start with the Cyberpunk 2.0 update. This is a crucial step in aligning the game with its original vision. It's been a rocky road, but this update is a significant milestone. Update 2.0 brings a ton of improvements revamp cyberware, redesign skill trees and perks, combat and vehicle enhancements, new radio stations, and more. It's like a breath of fresh air for the game. New scenes and new gameplay mechanics like vehicle combat really make the entire game almost feel like it's along the lines of a remake of itself. Now let's talk about the Phantom Liberty expansion, which is the biggest yet. This expansion takes a different turn, shifting away from the high-octane mercenary vibes of Cyberpunk 2077 into a more subdued spy thriller. It adds a layer to Night City and offers exciting new ways to experience the game. Phantom Liberty introduces a fantastic cast of characters, all well-performed, even if some are underused. You'll interact with them across new gigs and jobs in the added dog Town District, which is a fresh and, and intriguing addition. The expansion's narrative is full of twists and turns, delivering what you'd expect from a, a spy thriller. While some of the surprises I saw coming, it was still an amazing and captivating journey. What sets Phantom Liberty apart is how it changed the gameplay. It doesn't force a specific playstyle on you, but it nudges you towards a little bit of stealth. They've added some new weapons and mechanics that make stealth gameplay a blast, and I had a great time using the silence pistol and quick hacks while also weaving in and out out of cover and taking down any enemies that I would come across. Phantom Liberty also offers new gigs and jobs to add more depth to the experience. From securing airdrop packages to quirky side missions, there's really a lot to see and be engaged in. Dogtown the New District is a mix of Vegas-like luxury and vertical slums. It adds another layer of diversity to Night City and I appreciate the change of scenery. My biggest complaint for the expansion itself is there is some moments in the game where you have to wait for certain events in order for you to be able to continue the story. The game does encourage you to explore more of the expansion and do some side content, but this is something that I'm not always the biggest fan of, especially when you have to complete three side missions in order to progress the overall story. At that point, in my opinion, they're not really side missions anymore, but the side missions that I did do were actually quite enjoyable and a lot of fun either way. One of the biggest things the expansion adds is the, the extended ending to V's narrative. It might take you in a direction that you didn't expect, but what awaits is worth it. Powerful, emotional ending that just captures the essence of the cyberpunk genre perfectly. Phantom Liberty is a fantastic addition to the Cyberpunk 2077 experience, offering around 20 hours of gripping gameplay. It took me about 17 just by primarily focusing the main story for the expansion. Air this with the free update for 2.0, which is just a culmination of three years of hard work by CD Projekt Red. It's a compelling reason to return to Night City. From its disastrous launch in 2020 to where it stands now, the game really has come a very long way. CD Projekt Red really has shown their commitment to delivering on the promise of this futuristic RPG. Phantom Liberty and this 2.0 update is really something that I have to recommend for anyone looking for something new in 2023. This year has been full of tons of great games and updates, and this is just one of those that should be at the top of your list. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it, Shroom. Subscribe for more like this, stop by the live stream sometime, and as always, thank you for watching.